Hey there YouTube, it's Marvin here again. Another content that I want to share with you guys about uh, uh, Apollo City uh, 2022. This is a uh, City Pro. Uh, if you guys watch actually my range test uh, uh, regarding uh, City 2022 Pro that was almost uh, almost two hours ride and uh, I mentioned at the uh, at the end that uh, I noticed some like uh, a vibration noise or rather a rattling noise coming from the front and that was only the uh, it's coming from the fender I had to what I did is I had to tighten those uh, s screws there's four screws like two on both sides so tightening the four screws it uh, gets rid of the rattling noise so aside from that you know like the CD Pro you know the stem of the CD Pro start to wobble when I push it forward backwards it's really noticeable that the stem is wobbling and it's coming from the folding mechanism I also checked the these bolts here the two bolts they are all tight all right so without further delay let me show you guys how did I did it and how to adjust it to get rid of the uh, wobble the stem anyway the tools that you're gonna need is a number six open wrench you guys can see that and Philip is screwdriver Anyway, just uh, for demonstration, I loosened the adjustment right, right now. As you can see, at the tip of the screwdriver, you can see it's moving from the headset. So that's like, that's a small movement there. That's a big wobble of the stem if you're holding the handlebar. And a very good indication that uh, uh, will tell you that the uh, wobble of the stem is coming from uh, folding mechanism is uh, this one here once you release this lock and it's too soft to release like what I'm doing right now that really tells you that it needs to be tightened and that wobble is coming from the uh, folding mechanism anyway let's uh, open it and make sure to put a towel when you fold the stem I already scratched my wife's scooter by just folding that it's like the latch doesn't stay so what we're gonna do is we have to adjust this thing here I don't know what they call it but for me it's kind of a tensioner so to do that you have to you can just push this down so you have access to the screw here you have to loosen that you don't lose it too much just enough to for this uh, rod here to move you know to turn move back and forth and again this is just like uh, tightening bolts or screws uh, they say it's like uh, lefty loosey and then righty tidy so if you're facing the scooter to tighten it you have to do clockwise like that and then to loosen it you go counterclockwise and anyway, so right now it's really loose because I, as I said, I loosen it just to show you guys how the uh, stem moves when it wobbles. So I'm gonna turn it like uh, three turns right now. But if your scooter just develops a very little wobble, so you just have to slowly turn this cl clockwise, like quarter turn at a time, or maybe twice, and then you check it if it's get rid of the wobble already. Anyway, so I said I loosen this, so I'm gonna uh, turn one more. And then every time you try it, you have to tighten this screw. Otherwise, it's gonna hit the, it's gonna hit here. It's not gonna, you cannot close the uh, locking mechanism. I mean, the lever. So I'm gonna tight that. It's not too tight, it's just like hand tight like that. And then. We can try it if it's uh, the wobble is gone. If you make it too tight, it's gonna be hard for you to close this lock here. See, right now it's still too soft. But as you can see, let me move the camera. But as you can see right now, I turned it three times, like uh, three turns, and as you can see right now, there's no, this thing here is not moving anymore. 
but uh, that doesn't mean that we are done because like when I lock this here it's still too soft and even if I release this see I can release it with one hand so uh, that said like if you push the handlebar like uh, forward and backwards you can still feel the wobble of the stem so we are going to tighten it more and then I will tell you how do you tell that if it's already like tighten you don't tight it too much you don't want to break that uh, rod right all right so i'm gonna loosen the screw again okay that's enough and i'm gonna turn this thing again twice clockwise and then i'm gonna try it Oh, I forgot to uh, tighten the screw. Don't forget that. Otherwise, you will think that it's already tight when you try to lock the stem. Right? See, you can see the tension there. Now it's, it's tight. And uh, there you go. So right now I would say that this is the perfect adjustment. There you go. You want to hear that click? And then let me t let me try it to uh, push it forward and backwards on the handlebar. There you go. There's no wobble. There is no wobble anymore. All right. So. Alright, so I'm just going to add a little bit more. Again, you can push this down and then let me use it. Loosen the screw here. I'm just going to do like a quarter turn, like very little turn. I think that's it. And then now it's final. It's gonna, I'm going to tighten this. I think that the adjustment that we want to do. Right, let's try it again if happen that you cannot close this anymore you just have to loosen it a little bit there you go i think that's perfect all right so even here you can hear you can feel the tension when the thing is there there you go let me try it again no more wobble. So again, the tension of the uh, lock handle here, release handle here, that's where you can tell that your adjustment is correct. If it's too tight, if it's really hard to unlock, it means you 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 over tight it. So I would adjust it like I would I would loosen it a little bit. Now you don't want to put too much tension on this uh, rod here because it might break and uh, again it's don't forget to tighten the screws every time you try it otherwise it will hit the uh, this part here and then you will think oh hey I, I, I tied it too much right so and then tie it just like that all right guys so that's how you fix the uh, stem wobble on cd uh, uh, pro 2022 it's also applied for the cd uh, 2022 with a single motor is also applied to any uh, scooter with uh, or maybe e-bike with the same locking mechanism I have done this also like I think few times or maybe twice or uh, three times with my daughter's uh, uh, Segway 9 bot the folding mechanism is identical let me show you guys all right so this is the Segway 9 bot Max and as you can see it's the folding mechanism is really identical it's also have the screw here that you have to release so that you can adjust this rod here it's also the same size of the wrench that you need it's number six and yeah it's uh, the same thing you know like uh, lefty loosey righty tighty you have to face to the front you have to be at the front of the uh, scooter facing the scooter and then the same procedure when you adjust it.
all right so hopefully you guys find this uh, video useful and if you do don't forget to uh, give it a thumbs up and uh, my next video i'm gonna be adding a uh, front turn signal light on ct pro 2022 so stay tuned for that and uh, i think that's it for now and uh thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye bye